To demonstrate Fortify's integration with GitHub, we'll use this sample.net application for which we'll do static and composition analysis through Fortify On Demand. You can set up uh, scanning through settings, uh, code security, or equivalently through actions, new workflow, and then uh, choose uh, FOD. This will give you a sample workflow where you only have to do a few minor tweaks to make it work for this application. Uh, let me show you the file that we already created. In this case, it has been set up to either run manually on dispatch or every time someone pushes data to main. Of course, you can choose any trigger here that you'd like. And then the job itself uh, consists of doing a Fortify scan through Fortify On Demand and then getting the results into GitHub via the Serif route. We can trigger this by uh, just adding a file here. Uh, call that demo. And that should be enough to uh, trigger this process, which we uh, see happening here indeed. In the interest of time, I'm not gonna wait for results, but go to a scan that's already completed. And that took about 14 minutes. Of course, I can click on this and see the full uh, logging of uh, all the phases. Uh, more importantly, uh, the results are available here under security. Uh, clicking on code scanning, you see the 85 uh, open issues as well as eight closed ones. Importantly, these issues are not new. They were not created when I ran that last scan. For the fundament keeps track of the history of these issues as well as any auditing information that might have been attached to it. By clicking on any of these issues, I uh, would see more information about it. Uh, here you see the fragment of the code where the problem is, a short description of the problem. Uh, we see the history here. So we see which pull request introduced this problem. Uh, and I can get much more information by clicking on show more. You'll get the full Fortify explanation about, in this case, SQL injection in a context sensitive way. So in this case, I'm seeing uh, C-sharp examples because I was scanning C-sharp code. And the same thing is true for the recommendations. Also, uh, while uh, by default I already see the line of code where the sync is, in these cases of data flow vulnerabilities can also show the full path. So all the way from where the tainted data enters the program uh, through the various uh, phases and concatenations in this case to the place where it, the problem occurs, which is very useful for uh, auditing and fixing issues. Uh, from here, I could dismiss the alert uh, or I could create an issue uh, for it uh, and this is how Fortify can integrate with the GitHub repo, CI, and defect management functionality, uh, keeping the full lifecycle in one place. We'll demonstrate Fortify's integration with GitLab using this Java application. We'll be running static composition and dynamic analysis using the on-premise version of Fortify through the Scan Central system. Fortify scanning in GitLab is enabled with the GitLab CI.yaml file, which includes a couple of small files defining the various Fortify jobs. When we look at those, you would see that we actually have these for many different systems, not just GitLab. Looking at the GitLab ones, uh, you would find that these follow a standard pattern. So we use the unified Fortify CLI uh, to interact with the scanning process and then the Fortify vulnerability exporter gets the results from Fortify into GitLab. If we would look at the DAST one, you would see that this is very much the same thing, except that it says DAST instead of SAST, and this is dependent on the deploy. In general, we see, do you see a lot of interest in doing uh, dynamic scanning in the pipeline, specifically for API scanning, which we now also support for GraphQL and gRPC APIs. We can use any GitLab trigger to determine when these Fortify scans need to be run. In this case, the system has been set up to simply run on every commit or every push to this repository. Uh, so let's uh, do that. We're gonna create an arbitrary file And this should be enough to kick off the process, which we can see here in the CI-CD pane. See it's running now. In the interest of time, we'll look at a run that's already completed. Uh, you see that this took about 29 minutes. And here we can see the various jobs that have run. So Fortify DAST after deploy, uh, uh, composition analysis using the BRICT, as well as Fortify SAST. Results are available in the standard GitLab way, which is through security and compliance uh, vulnerability reports. See the overview of all issues here. If we zoom into one of these issues, in this case, a dynamic one, we see the description. Because it's dynamic, we see the URL where the issue occurred. 
we get deep links into both Fortify Software Security Center as well as the Secure Code Warrior training system, and we see the full description. Let's also look at a static one. This follows very much the same structure, difference being that uh, we're getting a link to a file location instead of a URL, and we see much more code examples uh, in the description, and these code examples are, as always, with Fortify context sensitive, so we get here Java examples because we have been scanning Java code. All the thing takes place uh, in the standard GitLab way, um, and this is how we integrate Fortify with GitLab.